Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this has been on my mind for, for some time now. And, and, and in this video, I, want, I wanted to get it off my chest. So we have an article here from Yahoo Finance. And I'll leave it in the description so you guys could check it out in its entirety. Lots of good info in here. And the title goes, at and New Reasons for Hope. Now, what I want to talk about in this, in this uh, video from, from my perspective is at and the biggest threat to the wireless industry in terms of having the best network, potentially beating Verizon in coverage? And that answer is yes. And it's not just now. It has been the biggest threat and still is the biggest threat to Verizon. Now, I know there's T-Mobile. They're, they're now a, a newer company merged with Sprint. They're bigger. But if you look at their revenues... If you look at their profits, if you look at their postpaid service revenue, they're still on the come up. If you look at their free cash flow, T-Mobile is still on the come up, on the rise. They still have to compete. And like I said in the previous videos, T-Mobile will likely still have to do a few more M&As, merger and acquisitions, to get to that level. AT&T is already there, right? If you look at AT&T's revenue, if you look at their profits, if you look at their service revenues, they're already there now. If you look at their ARPU, if you look at the ARPA, AT&T is there now. If you look at AT&T's capital expenditure for, for the annual years that they've been spending it, they're in the $20 billion range, and they have been in that $20 billion range. And they've been, actually, they've been in that $20 billion range and more longer than even Verizon. But the reason... In the past, it hasn't made such a huge impact on wireless because a lot, a large amount of that capital went into media, right? They had to fund the new shows, the the um, the original content, Warner Brothers. One, they had AT and T had to fund all of it. Now it's a bit different, right? That twenty plus billion, the twenty four billion they're spending this year, that's split between wireless and fiber. So that makes AT and T in my opinion, the most flexible company in terms of competing, right? They can say, hey, look, this market, we're seeing more growth on wireless. Boom. More, more spend for wireless. Hey, we're seeing, we're seeing more growth. We're seeing more people look at fiber in this area on the, on the website. Boom. More, more money there. We're seeing, we're seeing an equal split between growth on wireless and growth on fiber. Boom. Here's, here's, here's a, Overall, here's a bit more money. So I think from that perspective, AT&T is, is very flexible and they can step in and compete in any way, shape or form that you may like. Now, I think overall, you know, next year, at and is still going to spend $21, $22 billion, um, if I remember that correctly. So depending on how it's allocated, I think that's going to make a big impact for AT&T as a communications company. Fiber is not going anywhere. I said that in a recent video. I think fiber is going to be the future of AT&T. And when I say future, I'm talking five, ten years from now, maybe even more. Right? And that's when wireless kind of takes a back seat. So there's still much more work to do for AT&T. Of course, the C-band build is a big part of that. And I think they can, they can work through that in, in large chunks with this recent spend, right? 24 billion this year, 21, 22 billion this year. They can allocate a good amount for wireless. But of course, that that still that still comes with small cells that have to be installed, new sites, new coverage sites for FirstNet. And then of course, C band has to be, you know, deployed more at scale, right? There's still some rural sites that ATT will hit from um, with C band, with mid band, right? But again, then again, looking at it from a different perspective, like we've talked about, AT&T really has nothing to monetize right now for that extra capacity. They're bringing online 80 megahertz in a lot of markets, right? That's 40 megahertz C-band, 40 megahertz DoD. And next year, if that clears, if the rest of that C-band clears, that goes to 120, right? A lot of markets are going to 80 megahertz C-band and 40 megahertz DoD, and that will aggregate, you know, depending on device support. So AT&T is going to bring some very fast speeds to the market. But then 
a lot of that talk, I can guarantee you this talk is going to come up. These questions are going to be asked by analysts. How are you going to monetize this? That's what they're going to ask. They're going to say you have all this. You, you just invested all this money. You have all this speed now, which the third parties are going to, of course, reflect that, right? Ookla, OpenSignal, they're going to start showing, hey, at and is picking up in speeds very, very quickly. And analysts are going to ask, well, how are you going to monetize this? I see no change in your revenue. I see no change in your profits. That's, how they're, that's what they're going to ask. So is fixed wireless access potentially going to become a play for AT&T? It, it depends. They're, they're focused on fiber big time, right? A lot of these new markets that they're wanting to expand into with fiber to the home, they could potentially use fixed wireless access. But they, they don't want to feed into the fixed wireless access narrative because they've downplayed it for the last year and a half. at and said they would do some fixed wireless access in very, very small pockets of the United States, but they said they wouldn't use it at scale. They won't go into the metro cores and likely the bigger cities. They're going to do fiber. Like, for example, my market, El Paso, Texas, at and is the ILEC. They are the only provider that's offering fiber at the type of scale that at t is in this market. The only other competitor that's here is Spectrum. And Spectrum really hasn't invested a lot into the market. They're doing a little bit of fiber from what I'm told, but it's not anywhere to the same size as what at t is doing. So at t sort of has a stronghold in this market. But, you know, that's, that's more of a really, you can't really monetize that anymore because you're already here and you're already the ILEC, right? So that shows you that at t might not really want to use fixed wireless access, but it makes sense. You don't have to do it to where every single household has access to it. You can do it in, in bits and pieces, right? Like you say, oh man, we have, we're doing 1.5 gigs on this site. For example, we can allow 15 to 20 fixed wireless access customers. We don't serve this market with fiber. We're not the ILEC, but we can make some revenue and profits. So I think at t might have to lighten up a little bit on this fixed wireless access. And I do think they need to allow it. I think they need to make that a, a part of their planning, right? Like I said, El Paso, they already have the stronghold. They don't need it here. But in other parts where they don't have any home broadband, that they may want to expand into, I think they need to look into using fixed wireless access to do it. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think at and is going to become the best wireless network or do you also feel the narrative that the fiber is going to take more focus in the future and that wireless kind of takes a back seat? Because if you think of at and if you think of wireless, look how many years they've been in that space. There's hardly any upside, right? You're talking car manufacturers, 80% of them are with AT&T. The consumer count, eh, yeah, they're going back and forth right now, but they already had that too, if, you, if you're looking at total connections. And then, you know, enterprise, AT&T is there too. So there's not a lot of upside for AT&T to gain on that side. But fiber, I guarantee you, has all the upside and then some. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel, like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.